Hey guys, uh, what is up? It's Gosu here. Um, today I'm going to be playing this game called Supernova. Uh, so Supernova is basically a MOBA game, um, which is kind of like space themed in a way. So kind of reminds me of StarCraft. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to play a solo practice game, which is kind of like a custom versus bots. I played the tutorial, I know a little bit about it. Um, and it's, you know, it's really like, there's a lot of stuff going on in this game, so. Um, yeah, it might, it might take a while to get used to. So, I'm actually gonna play the, so as you can see, this is Champion Select, and, you know, it has like, all these characters with all their own skill sets, and, um, different kinds of, like, abilities, and all that good stuff, so. This is the champion that I was playing before, or commander rather. I'm just too used to league. And then there's tacticals, which is basically like um, certain abilities that you can use within within the game. So this is like a attack speed and movement speed buff for all of your units. Um, this is like a you just you know select an area and then all of your units will. Um, focus that target or like army or whatever so yeah this isn't just um, selecting a or like controlling one character it's more of a um, it's kind of like has an RTS kind of uh, aspect to it so you know you build your army and like you you like upgrade them and all that good stuff so I'm just gonna lock in so as you can see it's 5v5 and here's my three abilities that you can see. So the graphics are actually like really, really good. So I can, uh, this is my base right, so I can spend my points here, and these are just like um, attributes and proficiencies, so these are um, just like improving my stats, not abilities, just like my stats, like base stats and stuff, so I can add uh, weapon damage and attack speed buffs, and there's also an auto upgrade feature where like automatically sets everything for you, but if you want to be more like, you know, um, precise and stuff, then you can... You can suck it yourself. Right. So as you can see, it's two bot, two top, one mid. And then there's also the building your army's future. Like if you click auto deploy on, then you can just select all of your um, units and stuff. So this is the base. This is kind of like the nexus from League. And these are guard towers, which is basically like turrets. So I have like um, three abilities. My Q is basically like a single target ability that I can use to Firing. just do damage to, apart from my um, auto attacks. Then I get to shoot and these guys are like right. the enemy commanders. My W is a AoE, which does area of effect damage. So I can actually go back to base now, which is um, evacuation, and then spend my abilities that I have, like attribute points, and also heal. So I've only played like the tutorial and the, uh, well the tutorial and the other, um, like, there's three time. tutorials, so I played two of them. And they're really, like, you know, detailed and stuff, so they show you how to, like, exactly play the game. So I'm just gonna put more into weapon damage and attack speed. Come on. And I can also 
um, drop off to like anywhere that have vision too. So I'll just drop off here. Obviously it has a, oh wait, there's, I actually should have gone back and spend my proficiency. Our middle guard tower is under attack. This is slowing down. Okay, my E is a attack speed buff. So as the game goes on, like you just you know, your commander and your um, army become stronger, obviously. So I can also like spend my money here, which is the resources available. If I turn my auto deploy off, then I have to manually select everything. So I'm just gonna leave it on and just let the thing do its own. But if you want to just be sure, then you know you can build a airbase, which is like for building um, aircraft units. have destroyed the enemy's bottom guard tower. Okay, so these are the three abilities I was talking about. Um, this one is like it just heals in a large area for a certain amount of time. My number two is rush, which is just an attack speed buff. And three is the, you know, you select it. Um, an enemy commander or army, and then all of your units will just focus on that. Locked and loaded. I need energy. Energy checked. Okay, I want to go back and spend my points. So the drop off also has a really large cooldown, so it's kind of like teleport. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna put more into attack speed and weapon damage. But yeah, so this is the proficiencies tab. So it has like a bunch of insane amount of, um, you know, stat buffs. Like this one gives you um, weapon damage and maximum health. This one gives you weapon damage and armor pen. This one gives you weapon damage, CDRN, and maxim maximum Enemy health. Terminated. So I'm just gonna go with Siphon for now. Let's see you get in here and, and walk this. back. So this is the um, force overview, like how much better your um, army is than the enemy, like Lin. So this one, they have a dragonfly, right? You see the exclamation point? Like that basically means that um, your units aren't like as effective against him. So the the thing you have to build is the counter, which is the scorpion. And so top every top like destroyed. thirty seconds, when your new wave spawns, you get. Um, so this is my scorpion or the dragonfly, right. but Let's go. this is my scorpion. I feel like I need some more, but yeah. And then you have your R, which is kind of like uh, you know your special ability, but it's not that it's not that massive like in League or anything. So I'm gonna use my R here. So as you see, it's kind of just like another normal ability, which is fine. Our forces have destroyed the enemy's middle guard tower. Got it. And this is kind of like the jungle, so uh, you know, in between in between lanes, you can like kill them, and you get special, uh, unique aspects. And the the larger the the uh, the dot on the map, it means the tougher the enemy, but also the larger the reward. So. It can be compared to like, you know, wolves, golems, and dragon or baron and stuff. Gotta move. Enemy I don't even know if I'm strong enough to take on these guys. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely not. 
Give me a sec. Okay, I'm just gonna kill that and go back. So I have a lot of attribute points. Okay, I'm just gonna put some in like um, health. Got it. Okay, I got some more. So more weapon damage because why not? Slayer. Graphics are really nice, actually. Time to introduce them to our also, this MOBA is free to play, so... So, my force overview. I need uh, more scorpions. If I wanna, you know, like, counter their army. Or their, or their forces, rather. And this is a, a sensor drone, so basically these are like wards, and you can place them. And they're invisible, and they reveal enemy forces. Down. So I'm gonna try and take on this big guy here, and see how it goes. Slowly generates resources for owning team. So basically, these are like capture points. I can do this with my eyes firing. Okay, actually, I can't even kill them. I'm too weak. Going so it has a pretty nice mix of uh, strategy and mobile aspects. Ah, so close. So basically, <clears throat> the more things you kill, you get um, attribute points. Or attribute shards, rather. Wait, does that even affect? Right, I'm out of energy. And a force field be with us. There's no more energy. Our forces have destroyed the enemy's middle guard tower. An ally has been eliminated. Oh, I might be dead, probably. No. I missed. Enemy double kill. Unlucky. Acquires five attribute points. Unlock efficiency point. So I guess if I have five in this, then I can upgrade it. But I have two here, or I can't even upgrade it. Unlucky. But I have a lot of weapon damage, so I should be fine. The dragonfly is the most effective against your unit your force composition. Uh, so I need to build more scorpions basically. Alright, let's go. Yeah, this like the tab. Alright, let's go. This will slow down. And... What do you get in your firing? 
I guess this is like uh, barren. So we'll go and check that out. If I can beat this guy. I feel like I have a lot of life still for some reason. I don't really know where it comes from. Like my suit? I'm dressed to kill. Okay, actually I have to go back. The proficiency points like you know they're really really strong so more weapon damage you have unlocked an upgrade module oh, I guess it comes up in at 15 minutes yeah that makes sense Okay, I need to go back. But let's see you get in here and try it. I wish you could zoom in a little bit more. Fire spear gun. Incoming shocker. Activating repulsor field. Got him, hang on. Also, I noticed that if you like go for commanders, the enemy army will just straight up rush you down. Okay, actually it's 15 minutes so I'm gonna try and um, get this Enemy thing down. by the way again this is um, co-op versus AI or no not co-op versus AI just custom 5v5 bot so the AI is actually pretty good in this in these okay so what is this mechanaut uh time to introduce them to us. Well okay, that is insanely strong. It's probably a bad idea. Whoa. Sixteen HP. Okay, time to go back. Right. <clears throat> Lane is pretty long. So there's a lot of heroes in this game. Like they have their own abilities and stuff. Okay, either the creeps are getting really strong or Look at me now. And Can I even win this? I think I am. Oh shit, it'll be close. Okay, no, no, I'm good. And then I basically have to capture it. And you see the blue line that's going? Then I get to shoot stuff, right? Slowly generates resourcing resources for owning a team.
Your team has seized the cargo dock. Nice. So more um I don't know why I ran in there. So they have a lot of scorpions, so I should get more pathfinders and uh, scorpions. Well, I guess scorpions are good versus scorpions. But yeah, I need more pathfinders. So in three seconds, okay. I can add them. Time to recalibrate my sniper scope. Oh wait, everyone. My oh, wave is pretty good though. I think I spend too much time like running around in the jungle and stuff, so. Okay, okay. Double kill. An enemy is terminated. Very nice. Incoming shocker. The one shot. Ready to firing. I didn't think I could get any better. <laughs> nice to be wrong. All right, this game should be ending soon. Easy peasy. Just point and shoot. Incoming shocker. Our forces have destroyed the enemy's bottom guard tower. An enemy has been destroyed. The first is actually huge. Also, this guy's a sniper. Dying to meet me. That's far enough. I'm not sure if my W works on towers. An ally has been eliminated. Destroyed. Annihilator. Crosshairs. Enemy bottom guard tower destroyed. Bring him in. Easy peasy. Just point and shoot. Bottom up. I'm out of energy. Forty energy. So their nexus is called the uh, uh, auger. Auger. Sniper rifle beats everything. Not such a little girl anymore. Enemy bottom shield generator destroyed. Enemy middle shield generator destroyed. The enemy's auger is under attack. I'm down. You're not getting up. Our forces have destroyed the enemy's top shield generator. And there you go. So overall, it's pretty, uh... You know, it's kind of a mix of RTS and, or not RTS, but like, strategy and MOBA. Mostly game. MOBA, but yeah. You, you get the idea. The and then, oh. afterwards, you can, um, you know, spend your uh, intergalactic points and basically add that to your 
like it has a bunch of like augmentations and um, you know stats for your forces and all that good stuff so yeah it's pretty interesting and I feel like there's a lot to do in this game and also like outside of the game but yeah or outside of the matches rather so basically it's kind of like rune pages and masteries in a way but um, there seems to be a lot more content And then you can buy like um, with your points that you get per game. More abilities, and there's a lot of commanders. So yeah, it looks pretty interesting. Looks pretty cool. So this is the person I was using. Vic, uh She's a sniper. But yeah, you get the idea. So overall, pretty interesting game. And it's free to play, so yeah. Uh, make sure to check out the link in the description. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.